No more long lines, no more cramped quarters, and more voter convenience. Uh, those are just some of the selling points for Hamilton County's Board of Elections new offices. The old office closed today. It was located on Broadway downtown. Most of you know that. Now it's located on Smith Road in Norwood. Nine on your sides, Tom McKee found some people are taking a wait and see attitude on whether the move is a success. Tom? Well, as you can see, the sign is going on the building right now. Of course, there's lots of changes here. Downtown has four floors. This building has one. Downtown has parking problems. This has lots of free spaces. Downtown is crowded and cramped. This has a lot of extra room, double the space, especially for early voting. For years, voters have endured long lines that stretch for blocks waiting to cast ballots at the Board of Elections downtown. But with the move to new space in Norwood, there's a separate entrance for early voting and double the space inside. Our ultimate goal is no more lines outside the Board of Elections. Not only will people be out of the elements, they'll be able to sign in and vote more quickly. In our old facility, in the past presidential election, we were only able to house 12 clerks to process uh, voters. And now in this new facility, we can uh, have 20 to 25 clerks. So that'll really speed up the process for voters. There are new board offices, more space for tabulating votes, additional places to store ballots, and a warehouse on site to house all the equipment. The move is getting mixed reviews from voter advocates like Pastor Ennis Tate of the Church of the Living God. The positive? I think uh, the good thing is that uh, Norwood is the center of our city, and the, if the, the facility itself is doubled in size and the conveniences are there, I think that's a great thing. But Pastor Tate sees a negative as well. Poor people especially can ride the bus downtown. It's hard to get to Norwood uh, directly uh, from various neighborhoods, and so that may be a challenge for people getting to the site. The elections folks say they hear and understand those concerns, but Administrator Joe Mallory says the location, accessibility, and parking make the move a good one for all concerned. Well, change, you know, for a lot of people is difficult, and who it was convenient for before, you know, is not going to be as convenient, but the people who it wasn't convenient for before, it's going to be more convenient for them. Well, some people have suggested that a satellite office remain downtown for early voting, but I talked with Alex Triantafilo of the Board of Elections. He says state law does not allow that. That has to be done right here in Norwood. Tom McKee, 9 on your side, live in Norwood.